kids. Welcome back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was busy uh, brushing my eyebrows. Sorry about that. Still subbing <laughs> in for the uh, ill Kristen Tilly. Oh, she's, she's still, still sick. Ill. She's she's gonna be all right. Yeah. She's gonna be all right. Bring him out, kids. Joe Mack. Hey. 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 Never the behind you. <laughs> it's the math attack. Not born in a barn this time. Good to have you back on the show, bud. Good to hey, be Joe. back at the show, eh, Tom? Jeremy? I saw you this last weekend. You were out playing on the river. Play that was another river. thing I forgot yeah. to mention I did this, this weekend as an action pack weekend for me. What do you got for us this week, dude? I've got all kinds of stuff about action packed weekends, and it's all really <laughs> going to start off with... You know, these emerging bands, new bands, new stuff that's going on. Well, the only thing I really got that's new is the whole idea that Wakarusa has a new place. They've got a new home, and it's just two hours down the street. I know. Down there at uh, the beautiful Mulberry Mountain location near Ozark, Arkansas. And these are your two tickets to go to Wakarusa this year, June 4th through the 7th. And all you have to do is just send an email with your name, phone number, and I guess it'll have your email address on it already. <laughs> if you send us works. the email to contests at currentland.com. Can, can I, I enter? Walker Russo can I enter? The line. Uh, you cannot enter, but anybody else can. You just got to be 18, and you have to love the current, and you, you have to love I N T V. Or your kids. <laughs> Employees at Budweiser cannot. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure, and please in the subject line so we don't think it's you know any kind of weird spam that you're trying to sell us things to enhance <clears throat> parts of the anatomy. Make sure that you include Wakarusa as your subject <laughs> header. And of course, I did get business. a spam called Wakarusa. No. It could be Wakarusa. The only <laughs> other thing I could tell you about that's you know new about Wakarusa, yeah. other than the fact that it is new, is that there's just more Oklahoma bands and artists playing. This year than ever before, they include no particular order here off my scribbly notes. The Jacob Fred Jazz Odyssey. Yo. Yo. The Paul Benjamin Band, who's probably the newest band out of Oklahoma to get added to the bill. Really? Great Tulsa four-piece. Amazing keyboard player. She's just straight out of the church, man. She's straight out of church. Just Sister Soul? In, Sister Soul, larger in charge, playing <laughs> keys for Paul Benjamin. Right. Got to check that out. You got to check out Samantha Crane. And the Midnight Shivers, the Electric Rag Band is also. I'm digging these names so far, by the wow. way. Wow, you might. I'm listening to these. You might recognize Mighty Kind. Hmm. I, uh, I are they from around here? I think they're maybe? from the Tahlequah area. I don't really know. And and then you know, a part of the the Mighty Kind has moved on to Colorado to play with a band called Elephant Revival. So there's a band with Oklahoma ties playing Wakarusa, and the other one would be Tea Leaf Green, whose new bassist is Reed Mathis, formerly of. Jacob Fred Jazz ah, Odyssey. And he I, can't forget, I, that I heard that he split off. I didn't know that he was doing something else. Well, yeah, he's, he's doing something else. He's out there kicking it with Tea Leaf Green. They headlined Norman Music Fest and blew it up. And now he's back here at the wonderful Mulberry site. Let me and, kick in a little thing here. Did yeah. you know, you probably know, but did you know that Elephant Revival is going to be at Granny's Attic Friday night? Holy did you know that? Chinolis. Really? Yeah, I just, like the this tour. Friday, the 23rd, whatever, the 22nd, whatever it is. Jeez. Huh? They're going to be there. That's cool. I just found that out. Okay. The other one, Last Oklahoma Band, Cross Canadian Ragweed. Yep, those guys. We'll probably run into them at Country Fever. Right on. For sure. Joe Mack. Thank you much. Thank you. Stick Thank around, you. though. Don't but go stick away. Around. Yeah, stick don't around. go anywhere. Right. Okay. I've got, uh, I've got a little something, something to review. It's the, it's, it came out last year, last part of last year, and I've been meaning to uh, listen to it, and I was over at in tune the other day, and Mike was playing it. Todd Rundgren, album called Arena. Now the album cover really freaks me out. I don't, I don't need to see that, you know. But it's a real rock album. I mean, it, it, you know, uh, it, 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 if you've hated anything that Todd Rundgren's done up to this point, you're gonna listen to this album. You're gonna go, man, this is one I can get behind. I mean, it's a straightforward, at I'm times kind of hypnotic, uh, you know, tracks in there. It's just straightforward, a little ACDC, I would say, maybe peppered in there. I mean, he's, I mean it's Todd Rundgren, and he's, he's, it's a rusty nail of an album. Uh, also, he, did, he played all the instruments on this album. He, did, he just got with his Macintosh and on his laptop and did it all. Wow. Played the drums, bass, everything. Awesome. And then he had to get a band to tour out, and it took them a while to learn the songs because they're very intricate. Tom, what do you got? Oh, I'm giving uh, that one four out of five currents, by the way. Okay, I've got Kings of Leon 
only by the night. And again, it's a, it came out in 08. Oh, oh, it's not mm -hmm. brand new. It's their newest album. I decided who I was going to review. My favorite new group. But I, so I, I hadn't had this one, so I went and bought it the other day and listened to it three or four times since. This is a great album, and there's a quote that they make on their website where the lead singer says, usually he just, you know that, that Bob Seger scream? Not scream, but just full-on full on vocals that Bob Seger does. There's a few that acts to do that. Well, he decided he wasn't just going to do it once in a while. He's going to let it all go and just let his voice go because they toured in the last three years with Bob Dylan, U2. Who else did they with? Bob Dylan, U2. Um, uh, uh, um, I had it right here somewhere. It, it doesn't matter who it really Oh, Pearl Jam. They turned to Pearl Jam. Uh, anyway, PJ. so he was used they to playing in big album. arenas before they were playing in 300 sea clubs. So he learned to exercise his vocals, he said, to get big vocals out there. So they decided to record it that way. And you can really tell this band is good. There's three brothers and a cousin, all with the last name. And I found a mistake in Wikipedia. Wikipedia says their father's name was Leon. And it's the Kings of Leon. It's not. It's their grandfather who's related to all four of them. So what are you giving this? What's the I'm rating? giving this thing. I'm going to give it five. I I've never given coming. anything five. Oh, I I, I've never given anything since Sergeant Times Pepper. Five. five. I'm telling you, I love five this album. And you said, mentioned being raised in church. These kids, three of them were raised by a father who's a Pentecostal pastor, dragged them all over the South and put them up on instruments when they were like 13, 14 years old and even younger. Okay. These are good. This is a good album, a great album. Uh, okay. Sex on Fire is my favorite new song, but the other day it was a different one. Uh, Sex on Fire. All right, Joe, thank you so much, and, and, you. and don't forget about those tickets. That's Wakarusa tickets, kids. Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon. Todd runs in arena. Don't go anywhere, kids. We'll be right back. Hey.